Hi, I'm Sherry and welcome to The Eyes Have It. Today I'm bringing you a review and no, it's not any of this madness that's going on on my face right now. Um, well, actually, yes, I did use it today and I used it in more than one way. But, I, you know, I just felt like doing something fun and not just like regular everyday makeup. So I think this counts. I've got um, emerald green on my lids and under an emerald green mixed in with some lip gloss on my lips and some false little lashes on so um, yeah thought I'd just do something a little wacky for today all right on to the review today I am reviewing it cosmetics bye bye under eye this says, Bye Bye Under Eye is full coverage waterproof concealer with hydro collagen and vitamin C and K. In reading the instructions on the box and the, in the description, which, you know, as you can see, there's a library of information on this little box. Um, even though it's called Bye Bye Under Eye, it really is considered a spot concealer, any kind of a concealer you want to use on your face. And that's actually how I have been using it lately. When I first got it, I only used it as under eye because I thought that's what it was. Then I, it became immediately clear that this stuff was really full coverage. So I decided I would start using it to conceal some of my dark spots. And that worked really well. In fact, I got to the point where I could just mix that in with some other products, which I will show you, to f uh, match my skin tone. And I could just buff out the concealer, put on some powder, and go. And, you know, basically look like I had a full face on. As you know, I don't wear foundation all that often, so that is a really big plus for me to look like I'm done but I you know, didn't have to go through a lot of work to get there. So this is what the tube looks like. I, I do not remember what I paid for this. I think I actually got it on QVC, but it is available on Ulta. So it's a nice size tube. It is one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a, it's a big tube. In comparison, for example, to my Dermablend tube, or my Cover FX tube. It's a good size tube. So I'm going to talk about the ways that I use it. Mine is in the tone Neutral Medium. And it seems to me uh, to be a little light for something that I would call medium. Uh, in all in my under eye concealers, I generally use the light, uh, which is what this is. This is the CoverGirl Invisible Concealer, I think. It's in light. For my face concealers, I do have the Dermablend Smooth Indulgence Concealer, and that is in honey. And I have, and that I, I, I've been using during the fall and winter. And the Cover FX Cream Concealer, and that is in Medium Deep, and that I was using in the summer. But right now, what's really working is for me to mix just a little bit of this in. A little goes a long, long way, which is pretty good for a face concealer. I'm not sure it's so good for an under eye concealer because it can come off really, really thick. But let me show it to you. Now, the biggest problem I've had with this is that because it's so thick, you really have to squeeze to get the product out. And I'm not crazy about that. Let me just show you. I'm Oh, now it's coming out because I used some earlier, I guess. All right, so there's a tiny little dab there. So let me put a little bit of this next to the Derma Blend and the Cover FX. And the Cover FX for sure is a, um, in my experience, is a real full coverage product. I discovered this last summer, and then the Derma Blend I discovered 
probably maybe right before the holidays. So the one in the middle, the darkest one, that's my Cover FX, which is uh, the darker color for in, in the summer. This is my Derma Blend, which is sort of in between, and this is the Bye Bye Under Eye. So let me just give you an idea. Now that, to my finger, that is like super thick. And then I'm going to do the same thing to my finger, the feel of my finger when I'm rubbing past it, it actually feels lighter than the Bye Bye Under Eye. And the Derma Blend feels about the same, maybe a little lighter. So what? here's what I've been doing in terms of under eye and also in terms of concealing my face. For my under eye, my CoverGirl Invisible Concealer is a much thinner product. Comes on a little doe foot applicator. So it's pretty thin. It's not watery, but it's pretty thin. So what I've been doing is for my under eyes is I just I dot just the tiniest dot of this on the back of my hand. And then I put a little bit of this right on top of it, blend it together. So then it's more workable. For me, for under eyes, this is too thick. Um, I'm 61. I've got, you know, fine lines and wrinkles and num some that are not so fine under my eyes. And to me, the heavier concealer um, just accentuates those. So, and also it's just not very easy to work with because it's so darn thick and heavy. So when I mix these two together, it makes a perfect under eye concealer and that is what I'm wearing today, the mix of these two. Then for my face, right now, because it's the winter, I'm using a mix of the Derma Blend and the Bye Bye Under Eye for my face. So I'm mixing these two, the lightest in the, in the medium one over here. And that gives me a good match for my skin tone. So, you know, does it work? Yeah. But I don't find it easy to work with because it's so thick. Um, this uh, CoverGirl product, cheap, you know, drugstore stuff. And I can just go dot, dot, dot and go. And, you know, blend it in and go. And with this Bye Bye Under Eye, I really have to, you know, take my time. Am I getting too much? I mean, you really need a microscopic dot of this stuff if you're going to mix it in with something to do what needs to be done. Otherwise, it's going to be way too thick and gloppy and it's going to look cakey over time. It does wear nicely. Bottom line, I like it and I love that you need a teeny tiny bit and you got a nice size package here, bigger than any of my other concealers, uh, almost by twice. So I like that. It should last a long time. I don't like the ease of use, but uh, I like that I can use it with my other products to exactly match my skin tone because this is the lightest of all my facial concealers. So I can use this throughout the year, whether I'm tan or pale, and I can use this with that to kind of match. And actually I could use this by my itself, and I have. So do I recommend it? Yes, just keep in mind that it's very heavy. It's full coverage. If that's what you need, go for it. Um, it should last you for a long, long time. All right, that's all I have for now. Hope you're enjoying yourself and looking forward to spring. Take care. Bye. Oh, I forgot. I want to mention my nails. This is Mermaid for Each Other by Nicole for OPI. I absolutely adore it. That's what inspired me for my emerald green eye today.